Your name is? My name is Ali. Ali. Ali Adi. Where are you from? From Israel. Which city? Tel Aviv, the big city. Okay. You're an Israeli citizen? Yeah. So this group meeting across from here, who are they? As, as students uh, for justice in Palestine. Uh -huh. um, what do they stand for? They support the Palestinian cause and they bring um, facts and arguments uh, for the people of Palestine, which is people who live in the West Bank and in, in the Gaza Strip. Uh -huh. Most of it are uh, skewed and um, not very... Um, skewed, did you say? Skewed, yeah. Like the facts, the, 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 the events that they bring, yeah. sometimes they nitpick the events and bring what serves their cause more. Uh, which some of them are justified, but we need to bring the other perspective, the other, the, yeah. the other, the other side of the story. Uh -huh. Is their story straight? Are they factual in the, what they, they try to represent about Israel and the uh, the conflict? Most of them are not. Most of the people, or most, most of the facts. Most of the facts are not. Uh -huh. It's it's like. As someone as 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 someone as uh, who lives here, who lives in Israel, it's very easily you can very easily see that these are not true. Like in order to believe this story, this, these stories, you have to have some form of belief or a background that is not positive about the Jewish people and the in, uh, or uh, Israel in general. Well, would one expect them to be impartial? I'm sorry. Would you expect them to be impartial and objective, or would they have a point of view? I mean, is, is, there, is there validity no, to the point of view? Like, uh, I'm not expecting them to be objective, but it's quite a shame that students who come here, come here they hear one side of the story, one side that is very skewed and not, uh, not accurate at all. Um, so that's why we're here. Like, I, I feel it's, not, it's a bit unfair. Because it's very, you can very, it's it's very easy to look at the Palestinian cause and take a side for it and support it because it uh, they portray it this way that um, that makes the Palestinian people look like they're the victim here, and they're not. There there are people, most of them are smart and they have to take responsibility for the things that they do and where they lead their nation to. Who's responsible for the condition of Palestinian inhabitants? When I say uh, the territory's inhabitants, who's responsible for uh, the conditions, uh, good or bad? Is Israel? The conditions specifically, which one? Can yeah, I, 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 specific. You're talking, okay. Um, it's probably the Palestinians, but they are. Um, it's a political mavak, mavak politic. It's a political struggle that has two sides, and each side want to win the most. And the Palestinians, they know that they can, if they, that they can gain more if they gain the sympathy of the world. Um, so they are playing quite dirty, and I don't respect them for that. Like even if their arguments, part of them are justified, uh -huh. uh, but they are playing in a way that is not respectable. They are not into discussion or debate. Mm -hmm. They're into. They have this uh, very emotional approach. We're the victims. We're the. Sometimes they believe that they're the the, 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 the nation that suffered the most in the history of the world, which is. Like you can't believe this. Like you, you can't take this seriously when somebody comes with a, with a claim like this. Right. Does Israel give you full rights as a citizen? Yeah, of course. As an Arab, you have full rights. Yeah, yeah. Muslims have full question. rights. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like as a as an individual, if you wanted to yes. culturally, yes, Israel culturally is more Jewish and. Uh, is preserving yeah. and supporting the Jewish and history and culture. Yeah. 
but as a citizen and as a individual you have the same rights it's not a question like it's a democratic country yeah. we better have the same rights yeah. so that's that's it that's the situation here uh -huh. like when when we look at the west west bank and uh, israel yeah. you know that this is this this state is is, uh, is temporary and someday it will change for the better for the both both sides hopefully yeah. Yeah. Well, outside here what's the group that you came with uh, it's called um, reserves on duty uh, mostly people who had served in the army in Israel in the military in Israel and they come here to speak and voice their opinions uh, and support Israel and stand against claims that are one-sided and skewed and uh -huh. in fact uh, did you wave Israeli flags here today here no we didn't uh -huh. what would uh, the sight of Israeli flags to these anti-Zionists, what kind of reaction would it evoke? I really don't know. <laughs> like, I, I have no idea. It might anger them, but uh, the Israeli flag is... Uh, I don't know. I would love to try it and see what happens. How do you feel about the flag of Israel? I feel great. <laughs> what does it represent to you? It's. I I don't relate to it personally, but when I look at the flag of Israel, I feel kind of. It's it's a mixed feeling, but I feel proud that I'm part of this phenomenon in history where the Jewish people decided to revive their. Like it's like a time time machine. You go to the. Yeah, the ancient Bible uh, times, and you just revive it with the Hebrew, with the the culture and the history and the values. And we're like the Arabs in Israel. We're taking part in it. Like we're inside this whole process. So it's one more question. Yeah. Um, if you could say one thing on the stage to these people, at the uh, anti-Israel convention, what would you tell them? I will tell them to come speak to me or come to speak to us. Um, and they will most def definitely refuse because they know they are telling lies and they don't want to be uh, confr confronted. That's why they most of the times they refuse to engage in discussion because they know that they either bring lies, not facts, or emotional tantrums that can't be discussed, like why, what can I do about what you feel? Um, but I would really love to hear uh, claims and arguments that can be discussed, some rational discussion. Uh, that's it. Like I'm, my expectations are quite low, so a discussion, an argument, or a debate would be great for a start. So that's it.